it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. I'm back with another Nightmare Queens video where I talk about vintage horror written by women and today I'm going to be talking about The Gilda Stories by Joelle Gomez. The Gilda Stories by Joelle Gomez was originally published in 1991 and essentially it is a black lesbian vampire novel and it could be described in a nutshell as being like Beloved by Toni Morrison meets Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice which yeah is a pretty fantastic combination of course there is so much more to this novel than just that but I think at least that gives you a little sense of what it's about and will hopefully pique your interest. The story starts off in Louisiana in 1850 and we are following a black girl escaping from slavery. She ends up being taken under the wing by a brothel owner and she lives there for a period of time connecting with the women that live there. She is adjusting to this new life with these new people and she then takes another step and is introduced to life as a vampire. The story then spans the next 200 years and we follow Gilda through her journey and the different times and places that she finds herself in, each chapter being devoted to one particular time and place, and the different people that she meets and connects with, some mortal people and some vampires, and also what gives her life meaning in each stage of her life. I really enjoyed this book, I rated it four stars, I found it to be a really captivating read, I really enjoyed her writing style. There are a lot of really interesting elements here like racism, feminism, found family or chosen family, there is the idea of being constantly learning throughout our lives and the journey aspect both literal as we follow her from place to place and also Gilda's personal journey and getting to see each of these time periods through a black woman's eyes. There are plenty of varied and interesting characters in this story and Gilda especially is a very unique and fascinating character. She is a black woman who has escaped slavery and is now immortal. She is lesbian or possibly bisexual and she is constantly navigating the world around her and how she as an individual fits into it. So this was originally published in 1991 and part of the story takes place in 2020 which is now the present day and there were a couple of things here in this part of the story, especially related to technology and the environment that were very uncanny, so that was really very interesting to read. One thing about vampire novels is I always think it's interesting which parts of vampire lore are included or which kind of things are changed or which new concepts are added into what a vampire is and I think this one had a really interesting mix. There is definitely the element of the vampire needing to take blood from others but there is also this psychic or psychological aspect and these vampires try to leave something good behind in the mind of the person they have taken blood from so it's more of an exchange rather than just taking. Another thing I found interesting about this novel is that it's quite a combination of different genres. So there's horror, speculative fiction, 
historical fiction, dark fantasy, and probably more as well, but the combination of it all I think worked perfectly. I really liked the format of the book with each chapter picking up in a different year of Gilda's life and they were almost like mini stories but of course there is also the overall through story and yeah I just thought the way of storytelling was really well done. Like I said this was originally published in 1991 but this particular edition that I read was a 25th anniversary edition and it does include a foreword from the author Joel Gomez and it also has an afterword by Alexis Pauline Gums, both of which were really interesting to read so I'm glad I picked up this particular edition of it to get that little bit extra as well as the original novel itself. Overall I thought this was a really wonderful read and a very important one and I would definitely recommend checking it out. So those are my thoughts on The Gilda Stories by Joelle Gomez. Let me know if you have read this one, I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!